the Industrial Internet of Things, or IIoT, is part of a larger concept called the Internet of Things, or IoT. The IoT is generally considered to be a network of computers, intelligent devices, and objects that communicate with each other. The Industrial IoT extends this idea to equipment on a factory floor or in a plant, but with some additional twists. In Europe, the same sorts of ideas attributed to IIoT are referred to as Industry 4.0. In both the IIoT and Industry 4.0, there's a concept of sharing huge amount of data, most of it generated by machines on production lines. The collected data is sent to a central cloud-based service where it's aggregated with other data and then shared with end users in ways that help boost productivity and keep production lines running. By these means, Industry 4.0 and IIoT create what are generally called smart factories. But besides internet connections, the grand vision of IIoT is that these smart factories will also use what are called cyber-physical systems. These systems will monitor physical processes, create a virtual copy of the physical world, and use it to make decentralized decisions. To understand what, what's meant by a cyber-physical system, consider an autonomous vehicle that drives itself around without a human driver. The autonomous vehicles are examples of a cyber-physical system in that they use embedded computers and sensors to make decisions about what to do with the vehicle, and the decisions take place without any intervention from a human. The same autonomous idea is at the heart of cyber-physical systems envisioned for smart factories. The gist of them is that they will eventually communicate and cooperate with each other and make a lot more decisions about how to run factories quickly and without much human intervention. But before that can happen, the models will have to improve by combining machine-to-machine -machine communications, industrial big data analytics, cybersecurity, and human-machine interfaces. As these systems advance, the thought is you'll be able to use advanced analytics to do things like predict events before they happen, use real-time visibility of what's happening in the factory floor to recover production capacity, and know the right actions to take every time some problem emerges.